No. Girl. These things are not even fully fastened on. And I'm still wearing a shirt. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's video. And yes, I am completely stoned out right now. Um, but the stones are not what we're focusing on. We're, we're focusing on the face. <laughs> but anyways, no, so um, I wanted to go ahead and show these off because these are a part of my costuming for a performance that I'm getting ready to take and do here pretty soon. And as we know, I'm a performer and um, it's, I'm going all Lady Gaga Hotel out. <laughs> so all kinds of crazy, all different kinds of stuff. It will be fun, put it that way. Um, but anyways, I wanted to go ahead and show you the makeup tutorial that I did for this mug, this look, this extravaganza, however you want to put it. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, anyways, um, I hope that you guys enjoy it. Anyways, I love you guys, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye! Hey, everybody. So, um, do you guys notice anything that's a little bit new? A little bit different? Anything? Anything? Um, <laughs> I was gonna, like, play that off, and it just totally was not working. Anyways, um, so no, I'm growing my eyebrows back. Right. So some of you guys are probably like, what? And so, um... Technically what you're seeing is the natural outside and fill-in of where my eyebrows technically are. Um, so, yeah. Because uh, usually my eyebrows are a lot thinner and stuff. And you guys see this brush that I have in my hand. You guys are probably like, whoa, what is that? Um, actually, I have a whole set of these brushes. And um, some of you guys have probably seen these on like... My Snapchat or whatever whenever I posted them but that's these brushes right here these brushes are absolutely amazing and I love these brushes so 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 much because they are like super super soft like super soft like so soft and they actually do like a really good job like a really good job and I'm gonna be using them today so um, this right here fluffy brush this one right here is what I'm gonna be using to take and start off with the crease of the eye and usually I use this brush right here by the you know Vanity Planet um, palette ones that I usually use and I'm trying to get my camera to focus in so I usually use this one right here to start off with but I'm gonna use this one to start off with because um, it's a lot wider and I feel like it does really well um, but I'm gonna start off with the Morphe palette first I'm gonna start off with the Morphe palette first and the shade that I'm going to go in, because I'm wanting to create like a really sultry, dark look. And I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This one. Um, as you guys notice, I have a different color fingernail polish on. I'm testing it out. On camera, for some reason, it looks orange, but in person, it's like a nude, neutral color. But, yeah. But I'm just going to start building this into the crease and down to the tear duct of the eye. And working it on up to the brow bone. Yeah, so you'll find what you're looking for when you stop looking. All of your exes were lessons in. We'll talk about them again. You keep on settling. Wonder if love is a pain of the medicine. You never let it in. Well, I guess it's your So, like, for some odd reason, my camera kept going in and out of focus, which is severely annoying if you're a YouTuber. And. You know how cameras are with like movie autofocus and stuff like that on Canon. It is extremely annoying. Because <laughs> it wants to like focus in on anything that gets in front of the face. Yeah. Of course, work your way up underneath the eye as well. I'm just making a lot of weird faces in this video today, people. And I'm completely off kilter. Okay, so next up I'm gonna go with the shade right next to it. Actually. Let's jump up to this shade right up here. I'm gonna do this one right here. And <clears throat> I'm just gonna go ahead and start 
building that on in to the crease as well. So if you probably noticed, I really do like these Morphe palettes. I really like them a lot. And by the way, Happy New Year's everybody. Because I know I didn't have a New Year's Day video for you guys. Except for I was live on New Year's though. So. Okay, and then I'm going to go into the shade next to that that's a little bit darker. And I'm going to take a put that right on top of the lid of the eye. Okay, so next up, I'm going to go in with the darkest shade up here in the very top corner of the Morphe palette, and I'm going to use that to really give this a really dark look, and I'm going to be using a um, flat synthetic brush and then this brush right here to kind of like buff it out, and this one right here is like the smaller sister to the largest one that's in there, so I'm going to use that to buff it out ever so slightly. But in the meantime, I'm going to take the flat synthetic brush, run it through the darkest shade first, and then put that on top of the lid, and then start blending that out. Okay, so now that we have that on, which looks very um, dark and um, very dark, because I love looks that are like this. I'm actually going to make it a lot darker by taking black tracks. Um, this one right here is called Dip Down by Matte Cosmetics, and it is by their fluid line, and it is a really rich, rich brown um, eyeliner. And I'm going to use this um, in the waterline and on top of the eye close to the lash line, and then I'm going to smoke it out. making all those weird faces and crap. Okay, so next up I'm going to go in with the Star Wars Collection Mascara, which I have a really sad feeling that they have discontinued making this, 
And I really like this mascara. I really do. And it's by CoverGirl. I really like this mascara. And I feel like they've discontinued me. Which is really sad. Did I really just do that? I really did. I just got eyeliner on. <laughs> that happens, don't it? Oh my god, and it's just my look. I do it. Well, accidents happen, nobody's perfect. Okay, so next up I'm gonna take a move on over to doing eyelashes, and I of course already have my one eyelash with some glue on it already. And I'm gonna go ahead and adhere it to my eyelid. Well, not my eyelid, but my eyelashes. You know. You know what it is. You know. You get it, right? All right. Oh, MJ is my favorite part of doing makeup. It's contouring. And you already know, whenever it comes to contouring, this is my go-to. This is my go-to. It's my go-to. Okay, it's Kat Von D. It's my go-to. Literally. You can tell because it's been abused. <laughs> it's, it's, it's dirty. It's dirty. So I'm going to take the largest fluffy brush and the set that my grandmother had gotten me for Christmas. And I'm going to go ahead and use this. Which, this right here you could use to do blush with if you wanted to, but in this case I'm going to use it to do my contouring because I feel like it does a really good job of contouring. So of course in the palette I'm going to run in with the lightest shade first um, because it's the one that's like closest to natural for me. And then I work my way on up to the middle portion. So, yeah. Oh my god, do you see how that brush just like flawlessly puts that like out? It doesn't like make like a harsh line or anything. It's perfect. It's freaking, oh, it's perfect. Okay, working my way on up to the middle shade of the palette, which is just a little bit darker. Fabulous. <laughs> I love these brushes and this palette. This palette. Cat Von D palette. Amazing. Love it. OMG. Okay, so I'm going to move on over to blush and I'm going to use this right here. Very sexy by the Victoria's Secret makeup brand, which I don't know if they make this anymore or not, but I really like this color because it has like multiple pinks and whites and stuff in it and I absolutely love it and then it has really chunky um, glitter in it as well which is super super nice okay and then I'm gonna move on over to highlighting and this right here is the color pearl and I got this at Sephora and I absolutely adore it. And then I'm going to use this brush right here. No, this brush right here for putting my highlight on. Which is weird because you would think, use a fan brush, which is way, way thinner. But you'd be surprised. This right here puts on product like a pro. <laughs> okay. So a little trick that I like to do is I'm going to like take some Fix Plus by MAC. And I'm going to spritz my face real quick. And then I'm going to apply it. Okay, and then of course this right here is the lightest, and whenever I say lightest, I mean the lightest shade, um, 
and I'm gonna use this and I sprayed my entire mirror. My entire mirror is now wet. <laughs> so I'm going to run this into here, which as you can tell, it grabs product, so I'm gonna tap some of that out and just start applying. Yes, looking highlighted. Maybe too much highlight, but I'm highlighted. I like a really nice intense highlight, but since this right here is like my New Year's Eve makeup look, you know, hey. Okay, so now for um, lipstick. What I'm gonna do for lipstick is I'm gonna do something a little new. Um, and I have all of these that I'm going to be doing a review on. All of these. All of these. I'm going to be doing a review on these. And if you don't know what these are, these right here are Lips by Victoria. Lips by Victoria. And I will be doing a review on these soon. And no, this, that right there is not sponsored at all because um, I like her very much. And I was all like, you know what? I want to do a video for you because your products look amazing and they are they're amazing and they're affordable and they're really really good like look at the packaging on that look at the packaging on that that is everything everything that packaging is everything okay so now that i'm like cleaning off my mirror because you know i got my mirror all dirty and stuff so yeah okay so now I'm going to go ahead and do my lips in this shade, which is really dark, but it's so worth it. And it smells like grapes. So worth it, I am telling you. And it smells like grapes. It smells like grapes. It's so freaking good. Come on. God, I can use that nonstop just to smell the smell. It's that good. It's literally that good. Literally, it's literally that good. OMG. It is literally that good. Ugh. I'm like, hey. Anyways, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and end this video, but this right here is my look for New Year's Eve. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, um, and stay tuned for the video later on, probably next week, for the Lips by Victoria review, um, because there is ten shades here, ten shades at least, that's what I've counted. There is a lot of colors, and I have to swatch them all. I've got my work cut out for me. So, um, I hope that you guys enjoy it. And also her link will be down in the description as well. And I will take and talk to you guys soon. Bye. Cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true. Baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true. Baby, won't you let the light shine through.